How long have you been vegan? Um, well, I actually started life as a vegan. I was a vegan child um, till the age of about 10. Um, so I was completely vegan till 10. And then when my parents got divorced, my mum began to introduce the odd bit of dairy. Um, so since the age of 10, I've kind of like flitted between vegetarianism and veganism. Um, although I've never eaten meat at all or fish, um, I have had dairy through some of that time. Um, I've also spent a lot, quite a lot of my adult life living abroad, where it's not always been easy to be vegan. Um, but since I moved back to the UK about six months ago, I've been fully vegan. And in the UK it's so easy, especially in London, that I, it doesn't seem a good reason to have dairy now, <laughs> especially like knowing what I know and believing what I believe. So what was it like growing up as a vegan? Um, well obviously it made me a bit different from the other children. Um, uh, what I was eating wasn't like what they were eating like in school. The things I would take to eat were, um, they would have like ham sandwiches and stuff and I'd have like nuttoline or something like that they'd never seen before or like sauce mix sandwiches or something. They would uh, they sometimes be like, oh what's that? Like that's weird. Um, but I didn't really mind. I kind of it was just who I was kind of thing um, and I used to get taken on quite a lot of animal rights demos as a child as well and that was what we did at the weekends and we were in lots of like vegan and vegetarian social groups as a family and that was good, I enjoyed being part of that. Another thing I'd say about being a vegan child is that I think having that compassion instilled into me at a young age has made me into a certain type of adult in that I'm kind of um, I'm more aware of what I'm doing all the time, like my parents' message was that um, killing animals for our own use was wrong and that's kind of translated into me being the sort of adult that kind of thinks a lot about what I'm doing and how it's impacting on the rest of the world so um, obviously I think about what I eat, I don't buy certain things and uh, it's also made me more aware of certain other things I might be doing, like travelling or the clothes I'm buying. Um, it's made me kind of like more aware of the fact that I'm an individual and that I can kind of, I have the power to like influence what I do. Why are you vegan? Um, why am I vegan? Um, well, I think with the upbringing I had and uh, things I kind of learned from an early age, and um, what I know about what goes on in dairy farms and uh, how hens are treated and um, all the cruelty that goes on basically, like there's no other solution. I've kind of always known that that is the only way I want to be and although I haven't always been a vegan, like I'd like to say I have been a vegan since I was born and I've never uh, deviated but the truth is I've kind of had different stages of my life um, but now it's the right thing to do for me and because it's so easy in London, like there's not really any, for me, there's not another way of doing things because you can get so, eat vegan food so easily um, and also it's it's delicious, like I eat such a wide variety of things and there's usually a vegan option, um, if there isn't then they, you know you can always tide yourself over with something else until you can get a vegan option, um, so yeah for me it's just, it, I wouldn't do it any other way. Do you think you have to be a certain personality to be a vegan? Um, I think to be a vegan you have to have thought about things and not sort of gone blindly into consuming, consuming and like just always eating what you fancy at that moment like because personally I've made the decision that um, I don't want a cow to go through what cows go through in uh, dairy farms um, they just don't have a very nice time of it really and uh, I don't want them to go through that just so I can have a cheese sandwich. <laughs> so I suppose to have come to that decision and thought like, um, I, I don't want to be part of that. You have to have kind of like actually gone through the process of thinking like, what is this I'm eating? And um, some people don't ever do that. And I think maybe to reach the veganism, you have to have gone through that process. So what are your interests in life? Um, what my interests? I like outdoors activities, so my favourite thing is to go off into nature doing um, 
whatever it might be. I like rock climbing, I like hiking, uh, I like swimming as well, um, quite sort of sporty, outdoorsy stuff. I also do quite a lot of yoga for the last couple of years. I've discovered yoga and now I really love it. So, um, yeah, quite active things generally, outdoorsy. <laughs> Can you be active and vegan? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely one of the most active people I know. Basically, like, uh, I tend to do quite a lot of sport, and if I don't, I get jittery. I've got lots of energy. Um, I also sleep quite a lot, I have to say, but <laughs> that's probably because I do lots of other stuff as well. Um, maybe it's not good to say that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're being honest. Like... Yeah, yeah, I've always yeah. been like that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I've, I've got lots of energy, so yeah, it's definitely possible to be active and be good. <laughs> Did you find it hard to transition from being a vegetarian to vegan? Um, well, for me, it was the natural thing to do because I kind of started not really enjoying milk products so much. I kind of started feeling that my body didn't really particularly want it and I was introducing more and more vegan stuff as I went along. Um, and in the UK, and it's not the same for other countries, like France and Spain where I lived before, it's definitely not as easy, but in the UK you can get so many alternatives, especially now. Um, for every product you can get as a vegetarian, eating dairy products, there's a substitute for vegans. Um, there are so many different types of milks available. The cheeses that you get are, um, they're obviously not the same, but they can kind of serve the same purpose half the time. Like you can get one that's good for grating on pasta, it kind of like gives you the taste and it melts. Some of them are particularly good for making vegan pizza. Um, you'd honestly be surprised at all the products there are out there for vegans. Um, and I have to say that in the UK, no, it's not, it isn't hard to transition. It might not be true abroad, um, but there's so much in the UK for vegans that, yeah, no, it's not, not hard at all, absolutely not. Do you have any advice for people that want to go vegan? Um, advice? I would say, um, you know, it's okay to do it gradually. Like, if you're on a really meaty diet and suddenly you're like, I'm going to be vegan, it's probably best not to do it in a day or a week. Um, I'd say the best thing is to do it gradually and like, investigate the different ways you might get different things into your diet um, and to um, educate yourself as well on um, the issues so that you're kind of empowered and that you, you're solid with your reasoning. Because um, I would say that obviously I was a vegan child but that was something that my parents decided whereas an ad as an adult I've kind of had to think about um, why I'm vegan and the reasonings have become my own now as opposed to ones that my parents gave to me kind of thing and I think that's probably why I flitted between veggie and vegan as an adult. Um, so it's good to educate yourself on the reasons you're doing it um, so that you know, you're more likely to stick to it and have conviction behind your reasoning. Also, a practical tip is to always have something in your bag to eat. Like, um, I, I always carry things like nuts around with me or like dried fruit because then if there's not vegan food available um, then I can just have a little, uh, little nibble and then I'm, I'm going to be tidied over until like that I next eat. I'm never going to be like, you know, pale and hungry because I haven't had enough food. So I always carry stuff around in my bag, so another little handy tip. 